Good morning, Church. Welcome to our Daily Devotion Insight. Today, I want to share with you on a very interesting topic, our uh, title of the message or devotion called, Do You See Others the Way Jesus Does? Do you see others the way Jesus does? You know, it is very interesting because uh, I'll, the way we look at people uh, reflect who we are. The way we talk about people reflect what is in our heart. But the scripture tells us, do you see them as Jesus does? How do Jesus look at them? I want to share with you from Mark chapter 6, verse 34. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, the Bible says he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. How do you know if you are looking at life from God's perspective, from God's viewpoint, the way God looks at life? Think about the way you see other people. You know, the way we see other people is the uh, is a great test of yours and my spiritual maturity and growth. Better than asking how much the Bible you and I know, how often we go to church, whether we serve, we tithe, we pray, uh, we visit people, we connect with people or not. Life is all about two things, love and relationships. One more time. Life is about two things, love and relationships. So if you want to gauge your spiritual maturity and growth and development in life, think about how you see or view other people. Let me ask you some pointed questions. How do you see your spouse? Valuable, acceptable, lovable, forgivable? Is that the way you see your spouse? How about the way you look at your pastor, your leaders, your brothers and sisters in Christ, people whom you serve with, your neighbors, uh, your colleagues, your classmates, your lecturers, your principals, uh, your partners in business, uh, your clients, your, uh, your friends? How do you see them? Are they valuable, acceptable, lovable, forgivable, or that they are a pain, or they are people that you can use or cannot use? You know, what do you see when you look at other people? Ask yourself this question. What do you see when you look at other people? Do you see them as irritations, burdens? competition, enemies, uh, opportunity for you to use, or stepping stones for your success, or enemies or, or, or bullseyes for you to hit and criticize and judge and to, uh, and to tear down. What about the people you work with in your office? Do you see them as enemies? Do you see them the way God see them? All people matters to God. It doesn't matter who they are. It, better, it doesn't matter what they have done. It doesn't matter where they come from. It doesn't matter what their race are. Uh, it doesn't matter what they believe. It doesn't matter how they look, how rich, how poor, uh, how educated, how uneducated uh, how gentle or rude or crude they are, the Bible tells us Jesus died for all of them. Jesus loves them the way they are. God has a plan for every person and he wants them to have a relationship with him. Uh, God accepts them the way they are, but God doesn't want them to stay and retain or remain the way they are. When they got to know Him and they experience Him, God will change them. God want them to change, to become a better person. The Bible says just now in Mark chapter 6, verse 34, when Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, the Bible said the thing that came up from Him, He had compassion 
on them. He felt pity for them. He, he said, you know what? They are where they are. They are who they are. They behave the way they behave. They are in such a predicament. It's because they do not know what to do. They can't see themselves. They don't know their situation and their hopeless stage. And the Bible says they were like sheep without a shepherd. They don't know what to do. So they need God in their life. Even whether they are non-Christian or they are Christian alike, you know them by the way their life is, whether they have a relationship with God, whether they are growing, whether they are maturing or not. That's the way Jesus sees and look at people. And that's the way you can grow and see people too. If you don't grow, we don't see people the way Jesus look at them. You can learn to have compassion for your own family members, for your neighbors, for your colleagues, uh, for your friends, uh, for people around you, for your neighbors, you know, for your community, for your country, for your government, and for the rest of the world. You know, we have to look at our government, we have to look at our country, we have to look at people around us, we have to look at the different races in our country, the way Jesus looked at them, they are sheep without a shepherd, and they do not know what to do. Our part is to pray for them. Our part is to remember them in prayer. Let your spiritual vision get stronger as you learn to see people the way Jesus does. You know, if you learn to see people the way Jesus does, you will criticize one another, you will tear down one another less. You will learn to be more compassionate, more loving, more concerned. We keeps, what keeps you from seeing people with God's eyes? It may be distractions like pride, prejudices, competition, busyness. It could be uh, wrong information that we receive. It may be uh, uh, development, childhood development. It may be bad experiences. Uh, it may be disappointment. It may be hurts. Or it may be because something so and so certain groups uh, have done in your life that offended you, that hurt you. How can you limit these distractions in your life from seeing, from blocking you, uh, hindering you from seeing and looking at people the way Jesus wants to look at them? Can we say this to you? Can I say this to you? Let's ask Jesus to help us see people the way He does. One more time. Let's ask Jesus to help us see people the way He does. Amen. And if you were willing to open yourself for the, for the Lord, the Holy Spirit to help you now to see people the way Jesus does, you know what? It will change your whole mindset. It will change your viewpoint of people. It will change the way you look at people. It will make you a better, pleasant, more pleasant and joyful person. Amen? Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray that you bless all of us with a right perspective, viewpoint of looking at people the way Jesus does. Strengthen us, bless us so that it, because it does affect our life the way we look at people. It will either encourage us, build us up, or it will discourage us and cause us to be angry. Father, we pray that you will grant us the grace to change and to help us as we look to you. This all we pray as we look to you and bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, bless you. And you have a great day and learn to look at people the way Jesus does. Amen. God bless.